Okay, so I've had quite a bit of requests to do a update video on my um, state condition um, in regards to where I am in benzodiazepine withdrawal because it's been, I guess, over a year now since I've made a video. I've just been kind of caught up with uh, dealing with things and living and whatnot. Um, so I guess for the past four weeks, I've been working full time as a dental assistant, which was something that I went to school for prior to being prescribed benzos and then just never worked in the field, had too much anxiety. And then when I was on the benzodiazepines, I was happy just settling at the other job that I had. So I kind of just stayed there. Um, but recently, I guess within the past four months, something like that, I've gotten um, quite a bit better, I would say, to the point where I'm 90% healed other than having really intense, like, physically, like, 90% healed. I have, um, still muscle tension issues, uh, especially in the neck and, like, jaw area. That's where I notice it the most. Um, but in regards to mentally healing, I have a lot of, um, obsessive and like repetitive like thoughts and worries and I think that uh, I have like all these health issues all the time when I'm fine um so I definitely still have heightened anxiety but I've just learned to live with it and deal with it um but I'm definitely not uh like I can get to some pretty comfortable places like in my in my thoughts and stuff like that so it's just something to learn um like I said, to live with and put up with, and it'll just hopefully phase out over time. But I can function, that's for sure. As much as it's uncomfortable, I can function. So I have been functioning. I have been, like I said, working. Um, it's been just, like, almost exactly two years since I quit Klonif and told bleh, cold turkey. Um, so, yeah, two years into it. And um, if I had to feel this way for the rest of my life, I'd be okay with it. Uh, that's pretty much it, and like I don't think I'll be making much more videos anymore because I don't feel like I'm dying and scared for my life, like trying to like find out is this normal, is this normal, because I can basically get through a day without any major issues other than being like a bit weaker physically, not being able to um, tire myself as much as I once was able to. Um, the other thing I'll say is that I was using cannabis for a lot of my withdrawal, uh, not for the first four months, but at month four I introduced it and I stopped using it about three months ago. And I will say that when I stopped the, well, when I first started using it, of course, it did help with symptoms. Um, but as over time, as the body uh, adjusts and reaches an equilibrium with the cannabis present, um, then it's just an addiction that regulates you. Um, so it's back to baseline in symptoms and when I quit I found that I was able to I mean not immediately because there was a bit of withdrawal but after about two weeks I was able to sleep better than ever I was having appetite issues and my weight was always kind of low and um, not anymore as you can see I've gotten uh, quite a bit uh, bit more weight on me now than I did before which is a good thing because I was uh, severely underweight I think it was like 87 pounds was where I was at at the time that I quit cannabis so I've gained about 20 pounds I would say um, that I do feel better with because um, I like I was very underweight so I felt sick just because of that alone in in some ways um, so if you're using cannabis um, I would say Maybe, well, I guess CBD, if you're using just something that's solely CBD, it might not be the same situation. But if you're using THC, I would recommend um, only using it, like, here and there, not, um, like, all day, every day type of thing. Because then you're just going to get addicted to it and run into more problems. Um, at least that's my experience, and it makes sense if you look at the, the scientific reasons as to why. Um... That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'm just making this video because I've received quite a bit of comments just wondering uh, where I'm at. And I guess I wanted to, you know, give some people hope that, like, it gets easier. Um, it's a very slow process, but you get to a point where you can function again, which is where I'm at. And then there's, you know, 
all the little stuff that still needs to happen, which will happen in time. And uh, if you do have any questions, I'm not really sure exactly what to cover here. I'm kind of all over the place, just kind of winging this. But um, yeah, any questions, just um, I'll make sure that I'm, I'm able to respond to them. I know I haven't been responding to them in a while just because I've been caught up with everything. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you want to know and I will respond. And this may be my last video, um, unless there's a reason to make another one. Um, and if so, then I will. But for now, that's it.